non-envious. The inversion of that is to show some honor, some appreciation, some respect. And not just formal. Not talking about formal respect. Using this kind of a honorific title and not that. That is formal, the formal aspects of respect. What will come first? What will come second? We're interested in the substantial, heartfelt appreciation of the devotion of others. Not formalists, formalities. That someone didn't observe some formality. They, they violated a technicality. No one will be dismissed from Krishna consciousness for violating a technicality. Rather, the Raghavaktas, they're celebrated, they were ignoring those formalities. Once Guru Maharaj said, when Yashoda is whipping Krishna, no, Om Vishnu Pad Paramahans Paramahans. <laughs> it's running after Krishna and Krishna is running from her and his kudzal, mascara is running down his face. Gopyadade, Tvayikitavshari, Dhamatava, Yate, Dushashru, Kalilanjana, Sambramaksham. Kunti say, how beautifully bewildering this vision is. Whom fear personified is scared to death of that Krishna is running, crying, his mascara running down his lotus face, making it even more beautiful, and Mother Yasoda is running after him. Not interested in the formal absolute, formality, but substance. And substance means devotion. So there we, can't, we need to give recognition to the devotion of others. Rupa Goswami says that in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the book of devotion, that one of the symptoms of a devotee is they're always appreciating the good qualities of another devotee. So when Narada is approaching all those devotees in the first half of the Brihad Bhagavatamritam, every time he praises one, they praise someone else as being higher to them. He goes to them, praises them, they praise someone else as being higher. On and on and on. So what happens? Asamaho chadarenu jushama hangshang bindavane kimapi gumalatosa dinam yadushtajam swajanam arjapatam chahitva bejur mukunda padivim shruti bir vimrigyam. That Uddhava, natata priyatama atmayonir na shankara natcha sankarsana sri naivatma cha yata bhavan. That Uddhava who Krishna says is more dear to me than my own self, he praises the dust of the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani and the Braja Gopis. And then, all right, so then there establishes the great devotees. And what are they saying? Oh, how exalted is the soil of Vrindavan, the trees of Vrindavan. They're praising all the Shantarasa Bhaktas. Chandravali and Herbert, they're saying, this flute, what is this? A dry piece of wood with so many flaws or nuts is capturing all the nectar from Krishna's lips. What was meant for us gopis? The flute has stolen that indirectly. That, that type of envy Rupa Goswami is celebrating in the sloka. But other than that, not. Everyone, they're appreciating the highest devotees are appreciating the position of those who appear to be in a lower position. That's Krishna consciousness. Where the inverse, the lower group is offending the higher. Or not appreciating. But the actual higher devotees, they're appreciating the devotion even the lower. Guru Maharaj is saying when the lady... Uh, disciple of Swami Maharaj and the Nat Mandir of Chaitanya Saraswat Mat says, what I like about Krishna consciousness is we're being given a chance to have a family life with Krishna. Guru Maharaj quoted that for 30 years as something that touched his heart. 
He's appreciating what she expressed when Achyutananda said, hadn't eaten for three days because some Maharaj left with the key to the food. And he came to the Chaitanya Saraswat Mat for like a little prasad and Gurudev and Gurumars found out they were mortified and said, why didn't you come? Achyutananda said, uh, Krishna's dancing. That melted the heart of Guru Maharaj and Gurudev. Guru Maharaj told that story for 30 years. Krishna's dancing. Amen. Like, if he's dancing and so many of you are being thrown this way and that way and trampled upon, Krishna's dancing. It's Gopi Bhav. That if he's happy, then everything's okay. I'm fasting for three days. That's not a problem. Krishna is dancing. So that that was expressed from his heart. Gurus and Gurudev, they're recognizing that. There's some devotion there. They're celebrating that. That's what giving honor is. Not formalities, titles, and first position, second position, this kind of thing. But recognition of substantial devotional qualities, tendencies, expressions, seva, service, those things. That's a meaningful way to give some recognition.